How do airplanes fly in the air? How do they turn around? How do they slow down to land? Well, today we're going to answer all those questions using fun science experiments. So let's get started. Most of us enjoy sitting in this metal tube up in the air. But pause for a moment. Why doesn't this metal tube fall down? To know the science of flying, we need to start from the basics. If you take this plane here, to move it, you either need to push it or pull it. But I, if I take this and push it off this edge here, it falls down because we all know that gravity is a force that pulls things down. So for this plane to be up in the sky, something must be pulling it up and that something must be stronger than gravity. But what is that pull? Let's understand by doing a simple experiment. For this, I'm going to take a piece of paper, hold it flat and steady, and when I leave it, let's see what happens. It kind of curved, but why did that happen? As we all know, the paper doesn't go straight down because air moves it around. So can the same air bring the aeroplane up in the sky? On first thought, you might think that a paper is way lighter than a huge aeroplane. But if you carefully think about it, air is pretty strong too. Like in hurricanes, hurricanes lift houses and cars and maybe it can lift aeroplanes too? Well, there are two problems. When you're normally boarding an aeroplane, you don't see fast air moving around. And second, even if there was fast air, it, why would it be moving the aeroplane up? How would it be moving the aeroplane up? So let's tackle the first problem. How, can an aeroplane make air move fast? Well, let's think about it. If you're in a car and it's moving very fast, then and if you open the window, it feels like air is like coming in your face straight and really fast. So can the same thing happen with an aeroplane? Well, when an aeroplane takes off, it moves really fast like this, and then it goes up. So it seems that an aeroplane can make the air move fast by moving fast itself while taking off. Now we got the fast moving air. But let's come to our second problem. How does that fast moving air make the aeroplane go up? Let's conduct another science experiment to see how fast moving air can lift. I'm going to take this piece of paper and blow on top of it. You might think that it'll go down, but let's see what happens. Wow, it went up. So this is how it happened. When I hold this paper like this, there are air particles on the top and on the bottom, and they apply equal force. But when I blow on this side, the air particles, they move and it applies less force than bottom, so it goes up. The wing in an aeroplane is designed so that the air on the top moves faster than the bottom. But this is more effective when, you're, when this piece of paper is tilted. When this paper is slanted and you blow on it, it lifts a lot more than when it was like this. I'm going to demonstrate this with a real experiment. Let's go to my car. So when I keep my hand straight, I don't experience that much of a lift. But when I tilt it, it's a lot more. My hand almost gets blown out of this car. So let's take everything we have discussed so far and add it to the airplane. To make an airplane fly, it seems like we need three things. One, we need fast moving air. An airplane gets that by moving along the runway. Two, we need a surface that the air can push on. 
which is our wings. The air pushes on the wings to make a lift. Three, we need tilt. The more the tilt is, and even if it's just a little bit, the air pushes on it stronger and it creates lift. So that was just a really basic, simple idea about how airplanes work. There is a lot more physics and maths to it. But the next time you sit in an airplane, don't take things for granted. Be curious, have fun, and keep learning. Asa keroba, elo tikoru, pupu he surma.